education is very powerful. As a recruiter, I often found that uh, girls particularly were more shy and not ready to express themselves uh, well. In my program, we work on empowering girls and we've seen substantial results and we've had girls achieve so much more. And from there, I was motivated to find out how exactly are teachers, you know, empowering girls in their classrooms. On a high level, everyone believes that there should be gender equality for everyone. However, there are still some gender stereotypes that are present in the classrooms. In my study particularly, I found out uh, that teachers had more negative comments for girls than boys. They said girls were more shy, they were not participative, but they had less comments like that for boys. My study recommends uh, several suggestions and recommendations, uh, but I'll mention around three. Uh, one is looking at uh, the gender sensitive outcomes, being very clear on how those are and tracking and measuring them across. So normally we track uh, access and enrollment, but we need to track uh, things like number of girls participating in leadership, number of girls participating in sports, and also look at uh, how teachers are teaching in the classrooms. Uh, secondly, I'm trying to look at um, how grassroots levels can support the Ministry of Education in terms of implementation. We do have organizations that are already based on the ground and doing the work. So they can help the government in terms of bridging the gap between the policies and how they're implemented in the classroom. And thirdly, uh, school administration. Schools do have their own policies that uh, they run. So it should be important that the Ministry of Education policies should fit directly into the school policies. That way administrators can hold their teachers accountable but also provide support for them. I would love to look at the outcomes we have, for example, in our policies like the Gender in Education policy, the National Strategy for Girls' Education, and see how we can review it to include outcomes that are going to measure quality of education beyond access and enrollment. And then after that, look at how we can also take advantage of other organizations that are doing this work and see how we can make sure it is implemented well. Through education, you get empowerment. You get to dream and you get to achieve things that you never have thought about. And I particularly, I was lucky to have uh, one of my teachers that really believed in me. Every time he'll be like, how are you can do this? You're amazing, you're great, you can achieve everything that you want. And because of that, I, I learned to aim for the best. And But this is not, um, this is not everywhere and not every girl gets to have this experience. It's important if we are going to be lawyers, if we are going to be doctors, if we are going to change the world. And you know, the, like the saying, uh, if you empower a girl, you empower the community. So it means as an empowered girl or mother or wife, I can make an important decision for my children, their health, their education, finances contribute to the family. There's so much we can do and achieve.